Hi, I'm Lauri. And this is Aki from the Rasmus. You are watching Rock and Live. We have been to France quite many times in the past. So I already know some fans, like I know their faces and I recognize them on the street and, and somebody just came here. Oh, it's been six years. It's last time and good to have you back and it's a really nice uh, feeling. I also remember the first time we came to France to play in Paris in, in uh, La Boule Noire. Sorry, my bad French. But uh, it's, a, it's a small club, like, I don't know, 250 people or 300 people. And I remember the backstage was bigger than the, the room, the hall where we played. So it was kind of small and nice. Really good memories of this city as well. Yeah, great memories. For this album we had, last summer we had like two months period. We went to our, our rehearsal room and just jam and play songs and record some demos and with the really crappy sounds and just just having fun and we made like, I don't know, 25 songs and we picked 10 for the album and uh, we, this time we wanted to be fast and we so we called up our friend, producer in Sweden and what are you doing this autumn? Okay, we come over and then we took a ferry to Stockholm and we started to record the album and it took a couple of months and it was ready. I'm a Mess is the first single we put out on this album and uh, that song was actually the last song we created just the night before we left to the studio. And actually it was finished in the studio. We didn't even have all the parts and I didn't have the, uh, all the lyrics. So it was uh, very improvised in the studio and, and we felt it sounded like a good first single. always been able to change our style a little bit musically and in every way to make it fit our personal feelings at the moment. If we would have been stuck in one category that would have been the end of the band sooner. But I feel like you know every album has been a little bit different from each other and that keeps it interesting for ourselves and that's the most important thing. And I think um, if the band feels good inside that can also, that will be shown to the people. Sometimes the inspiration uh, comes from, you know, life, things that happen to me or to my friends, to the bandmates. But also inspiration can come out from movies, like uh, there's a song on the new album called Somewhere, and it's um, influenced by this uh, Sofia Coppola's movie, Somewhere. It came out like two years ago or so. And uh, I really was moved by the, the film. I could find myself in the main character. And, uh, and it really made me think about my life and what I should do with it. I always remember the first gig we played. It was in our school, we had a Christmas party, and we played five songs, I remember. There were some of our own, own songs, and also we played a Nirvana song called Polly, and, uh, and then there was one cover song <coughs> from the Swedish band. <laughs> and uh, those were fun times also, you know, getting started, you could feel the energy, like something cool has just born, you know, and, you know, we're part of this. We have a band, and the, the feeling was so strong about it. it. still keeps us going, you know, it's cool to have a band, and cool to be proud of your own songs, and to have a, like, a family. <laughs> 